So let's start off with Alabama 41, Georgia 24 in the SEC championship game. Uh, Post-game win expectancy, Alabama 99%. Bryce Young, 26 out of 44, 421 yards, three touchdowns. I think the more surprising thing is that Brian Robinson played with a pulled hamstring and ran the ball 16 times for 55 yards. Like, I got no idea. Georgia got zero sacks. They looked confused. Like Once they got up 10 to nothing, Alabama ran this, this crossing route that got Jamison Williams wide open, and, and he burned those guys. You could tell he was so much faster than that secondary. And from there, Georgia was on their heels, and they could never get it back. John Metti tore his ACL. He's going to be out of the playoffs. That is definitely not good. Uh, Alabama's offense was not nearly as explosive in the second half without him, but 24 second-quarter points for Alabama Give me your thoughts on this before we dive into, you know, some of the numbers. Well, my first thought on this game was I I find it funny that that Saban credits the media and all the people that picked against them as yummy rat poison. When when I I don't I don't understand this. Did you see you by the, the way, let me interrupt you. Hang on. No, 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 no. No, did you see Bryce Young? Let me finish. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> I love it how you get to suck dick for like nine games, okay? Offensively, you don't look good at all, all right? Against bad teams, against bad opponents, okay? LSU, you only gave up 20 points. We gave up 45 points to Ole Miss, all right? Like, like against Auburn, you don't score for three quarters. Not, not you don't score a lot. You don't score at all. You don't get first downs at all the entire game. Like, you – Barely beat these teams that aren't good. And then you get to say, nobody believes in us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got an entire season of resume. You have all the best players. You have all the best coaches. You get the benefit of every benefit of being the brand in the SEC for 20 years. And you underperform the entire season. And then you get to play up this nobody believes in us card. What the hell is that, man? People only are talking about what we've seen for 12 games. And we've seen you you win 11 of them. But we also see in most of those 11 games that you won, you look like crap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. There's a reason why I picked Georgia in the ballgame. Uh, there was no world where I could see Alabama being able to hold Georgia to zero sacks in this game. They changed up their offensive line and... I will tell you this. I did not believe it, but I talked to somebody that was a GA at Alabama just two seasons ago that is still tight with some of the guys that are on the staff there, uh, support staff and whatnot, who told me prior to that Alabama had been gearing up for Georgia basically since the Ole Miss game, which made zero sense to me because that is not how I have been led to believe Nick Saban coaches. It is a game-to-game Well, thing. it cost him the A&M game. It almost cost him the Auburn game. Yeah. And it should have cost him the LSU game, which means he never sees Georgia at all. Right. I, I mean, it almost cost the Arkansas game. It, I mean, there was a lot. Yeah. Like, and you're talking against bad teams. Like, that's Auburn team with their backup quarterback and no good skill players outside of Tank. Like, that's an LSU team that is a complete shit show. So, so I did not buy that. And yet, when they came out, uh, really in the in the second quarter, they started to get a feel for what Georgia was doing and whatnot. Uh, at that point, I it all made perfect sense. At that point, I could not believe it. Alabama had three sacks. Georgia had zero. I, you know, 115 rushing yards for Alabama. Like they outrushed Georgia in this game. Now, part of that is because Georgia got down, so they had to throw the ball. But let's talk about let's talk about Stetson Bennett. You know, that was a question coming into this game. I thought that Stetson had looked significantly better this season than he did last season. He was not prepared to be the starting quarterback last season. And he has had multiple games. What, 10 games of being the starter this year? Yeah. And JT Daniels, of course, had been dealing with injuries basically all year. 